That's enough practice. Let's try some actual critical reasoning GRE multiple choice questions. The first question type that we're going to discuss is the strengthen an argument question. And in these questions, they're going to give you an argument. It's probably not going to be very strong. And your job is to find an answer option that makes this argument stronger. So which of the following, if true, strengthens the argument above? Go ahead and read this argument. Do the same thing we did before, evidence, conclusion, and then see which one of these answer options makes it stronger. Okay, let's look at this argument together. And a reminder that one way to strengthen an argument is to defend it against potential weaknesses. So as we read this argument, it's very important to start looking for problems even before we look at these answer options. So here we go. The use of antibiotics in animal feed has uh, led to an increase in superbugs. That's a piece of evidence. We're just going to accept that as true. Here's our conclusion. To mitigate the threat of superbugs, our nation should, for the time being, ban the import of animal feed that has antibiotics. Do you see any potential problems with this argument? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I'm not going to spoil it for you right now, but it will become clear that there is a very, very clear logical jump going on here. Let's look at the answer options. And I'm going to eliminate these one by one, but I'm going to do it out of order so you don't know what's coming. Heighten the suspense. So put your answer in right now. Take a guess. We're going to start by eliminating answer option B. Banning the import of antibiotic animal feed would be less disruptive to the economy than other measures like banning the consumption of animal products. What do we care about the economy in this argument? Does the argument make any claims about the economy? No. For all we care, like we don't care if the economy crashes, for instance. That would be fine just as long as we're safe from superbugs. So on a critical reasoning question, if you see the O word, other, you know, another company, another town, another country, usually not the correct answer, right? Because it distracts from the main uh, focus of the argument. Answer option E has the same problem. Some scientists argue that superbugs are a necessary risk in order to provide enough output for the food supply. We don't care about the food supply. We just care about protecting ourselves from superbugs. Or I should say we don't care about enough output for the food supply. We care about the quality of the food supply. So answer option E is out. The next one we're going to eliminate is answer option D. Although animals in foreign countries consume the same feed, superbugs are much less common abroad. And we're starting to get at the, the weakness of this argument. But this one kind of goes in the wrong direction. If anything, this, sh this, uh, this weakens the argument, right? If it, if it happens that animals in other countries are doing better than our animals, maybe we should import their feed, the feed that they're using, right? Again, we're starting to zone in on what the problem with this argument here is. So D is out. Now we're down to A and C. And A is unfortunately a wrong answer. It's a very popular wrong answer, but here's the problem. A simply adds more evidence to the argument. But it's, it adds more evidence to, to a premise that we've already accepted is true, that superbugs are bad. We already agree that superbugs are bad. If we add more evidence saying just how bad superbugs are, that doesn't strengthen the actual logic of the argument. It doesn't get us from A to B. So answer option A, although tempting, is a great example of an answer option that strengthens evidence rather than strengthening the argument. Those are two different things. I'm adding more to a premise that I already accept as true. The correct answer here is C, and let's talk about it. Going back to the argument, the major weakness is this word. And very often on these critical reading question, reasoning questions, uh, it, it all hinges on one word. This argument says superbugs are bad, therefore ban foreign animal feed, ban the import of, of animal feed. How do we make that jump? How did we go from for, how did we go from uh, antibiotics and animal feed is bad too, we shouldn't buy foreign animal feed. Well, in order for that assertion to be true, in order for that uh, jump to be made, we need to show that foreign animal feed is somehow worse than the stuff that we produce on our own. And answer C does that. Answer C provides that bridge, right? Answer C says animal feed produced domestically contains 50% fewer antibiotics than imported feed. Oh, 
So domestic feed is safer, and therefore we should ban foreign animal feed. Now, this doesn't make the argument airtight. It doesn't make it a perfect argument, but it does make it stronger by, by addressing one of its weaknesses.